we don't think much about it. But we expect a lot from paperboard. We expect it to stay strong through the supply chain, to the store, even to a wet cooler. But we also want it to tear at just the right time, in just the right way. There's a lot of science behind that strength. Meet Teresa Krug. She's one of the scientists exploring what's possible for paperboard. From the smallest millimeter size fibers all the way to a 30 ton master reel of paper that comes off of our machines, we put our board to the test in our labs, at our mills, and through the supply chain. We build in strength every step of the way, and when we say strength, we're talking about a few different properties of the paper board. There's wet strength. This is how our multi-pack doesn't fall apart coming out of a wet cooler. There's folding strength, the ability to fold or bend without breaking. You want your paperboard for packaging to be strong, but not too strong. You need it to tear in the right way at the right time. Chemistry and physics are a lot more involved in paper than you might think. In the lab, we work directly with the pulp fibers as well as the finished paperboard product. We test for stiffness, extensibility, and many other factors. At the mill, we start our process with sustainably harvested wood. It passes through a lot of expert hands along the way. We start with wood chips, which are made into a pulp slurry that is then refined. We're wanting to open it up where we give it more bonding sites, more chemical sites, so that we can build strength in our product. Once it's through the refiners, we bring it to the head box, which is where the fiber itself is carried out and formed into a sheet. It's then uh, surface treated at a size press or a coater, depending on the end use of the material. And once through the coater, we calendar it with a gloss calendar, just to impart some gloss and shine into the sheet, and then we reel it up. Back at the lab, we conduct even more tests for strength. Science and manufacturing technology are at the core of making paperboard strong enough to survive not only today's supply chain, but to stand up to consumers' expectations. Our commitment to paperboard science is at the core of what's possible. We're always thinking about what's next for paperboard and how it can solve customer challenges. <laughs>